Hello, 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 how are you? It's Sean Ferrick here for Who Culture, and just like the master, I'm back again, baby. I know, I know, we were just talking recently because sure, we had to discuss the return of David Tennant and Doctor Who. So make sure if you haven't watched that video already, wherever it is, I'm, I'm pointing everywhere to kind of cover Danny's placement of a link to that video. That or it looks like I'm falling down a well. But do check that out because we go into what it could mean now that David Tennant is back in the role of the Doctor, you know, where it might come in the numbering, what kind of stories we're talking about, all of that in that beautiful video there. But we also must discuss the enormity of the partnership deal that's been announced. So here I am with why partnering with Disney Plus is the most significant thing to happen to Doctor Who in quite a while. Now, very quickly, just make sure that you go and like and share this video, uh, particularly share, because the more you share, the more new people get to watch our content. And that's very much in theme with the point of this video, with the growth in audience that's about to happen. In a nutshell, what's happened is that Russell T Davies and Bad Wolf Productions are going to partner with Disney Plus so that Disney Plus will distribute new episodes of Doctor Who starting in November 2023 outside of the UK and Ireland. Massive asterisk there. Now that asterisk is in relation to the fact that they've said BBC is going to remain the home of Doctor Who in the UK and Ireland. Now that's all well and good, but as you probably know, there's Northern Ireland and there's the Republic of Ireland. And in the Republic of Ireland, where I am based, we are region blocked away from iPlayer, which means we don't get access to things like Doctor Who after it's aired, or things like BritBox, for example, which contains a lot of classic Who. So I would very much like a little bit of clarification as to whether or not you're going to predominantly see Sean discussing Doctor Who or Ellie, and I think we're all going to know who's going to win that fight anyway. I mean, I mean, she's just, she's just brilliant. She's just brilliant. We will get confirmation on that when we can, but what is actually happening? What is Disney Plus's role going to be in Doctor Who going forward? Now, in the official press release statement, it does use the phrase under a shared vision. Now, that has had some people going, mm, hold on now, does that mean that Disney will be telling Russell T Davies how to make Doctor Who? And it's possible, but it's unlikely. Now, the reason I say that is because Russell T Davies is the man who brought Doctor Who back in 2005, and it's gone without a break ever since. Sure, some of the seasons have been specials or they've been shorter, but it's gone on now. We're pushing 20 years of returned Doctor Who. That's impressive. To now immediately throw a load of roadblocks up in front of that vision, that, mm, I don't know how well that would work in terms of, you know, in terms of the success of the show. I, I personally am not massively concerned with Disney muddying up the waters a little bit. There's also the fact that Russell T Davies has been on such a winning streak over the last few years. If you have not watched Years and Years or It's a Sin, I implore you to watch them both now. I mean, there's other things as well that Russell has been just fantastic at, but particularly those two miniseries just massively stand out as some of the best writing over the last few years. That's Russell D Davies. And if you're gonna go and hire that man to run Doctor Who again, knowing his track record on Doctor Who, and you know, Disney's throwing their support behind it, I think you gotta let him do his thing because he knows what he's at. Now, Russell has already spoken to us and said that Bad Wolf Productions, it's going to remain in Wales. That's where Doctor Who is going to film. Now, in fact, we have a quote from Russell T Davies here. He says, I love this show, and this is the best of both worlds. With the vision and the joy of the BBC and Disney Plus together, we can launch the TARDIS all around the planet, reaching a new generation of fans while keeping our traditional home firmly on the BBC in the UK. Now, let's pick up on one thing there really quickly. New fans. The BBC has, you know, large enough audiences, BBC America as well. Disney Plus has a reach of up to 150 million subscribers across a hundred different markets. That is wild. This is the kind of reach that Doctor Who has never 
enjoyed in its run so far. This is phenomenal. We can bring in people who may never have had the opportunity to watch Doctor Who again. And selfishly, folks, it's going to be unreal for Who culture. You want to be able to reach out and interact with as many people in as many different countries and locations around the world as possible. This distribution deal with Disney Plus is going to allow people to do that. Now, of course, with Who culture being, you know, located on YouTube, on which I assume you are watching this video, you know, we are worldwide as well. So that means we can continue to review, to discuss with new fans. That is the most important thing here, is that Doctor Who is going to reach out to all of the people who've been watching all along, to the people who've maybe joined in the last 20 or so years, and it will also now be able to reach people who are coming in fresh, who are coming in and have maybe heard about this. This is thing in a police box. What's a police box? No idea. Things like that. This is super, super news for distribution. It is horrendous news for Danny's to-do list. And at this point, I think Ellie is just taking from 2023 off. She's just like, no, I, this, this is what I do now. I, I, I live in this rectangle and I discuss Doctor Who. And you know what? Fair. Now, another thing, of course, that this affords everyone is the scale of Doctor Who might be about to raise again. When Russell T, everything I'm about to say, I'm going to say this with so much love, all right, so bear with me. When Russell T Davies brought the show back in 2005, it did a lot with a little. Ah, the CGI is grand, isn't it? That is not an insult. This was, they were doing so much with so much, with relatively so little. And all you need to do is look and see how it's grown over the years so far. You know, things like the power of the Doctor just gone, these are beautiful cinematic visions that we're seeing. Now, with an influx of Disney's reach, you know, Disney, you know, what they have kind of like small properties under their belt. Um, Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if anyone then will be able to like, you know, kind of, oh, here's how you can do even more CGI with even little. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It means that the scale, the ambition, the growth of Doctor Who is going to take off in a way that, you know, th these barriers that might have been in the way before, they're gone, all right? They, they are gone out of the way. In fact, Charlotte Moore, BBC's chief content officer, has said about it, joining forces with Disney will elevate the show to even greater heights and reach new audiences, and we're committed to ensuring that audiences across the globe get the opportunity to enjoy the Doctor's epic adventures with the scale and ambition that they deserve. Now, okay, expansion, what are we talking about? Franchise. We're talking about spin-offs. We've already seen this with Doctor Who. Doctor Who comes back 2005. Very shortly after that follows along Torchwood. Then, not long after that, we have the Sarah Jane adventures. And of course, there was the, the short-lived class as well. So we've already seen various spin-off shows happening from this central Doctor Who. And Russell T Davies, in fact, long before he was ever confirmed as returning a showrunner, talked about wanting to make Doctor Who into a Marvel-type cinematic universe because there was simply that much content to explore. You know, we've had a little bit of a brain, you know, storm here in Who Called Your Towers. Uh, some of the ideas that were thrown out, for example, like Rose and the Meta Crisis Doctor. What about something like a Unit and Kate Stewart spin-off? There's legacy characters there, but also there's room to expand. You don't need to necessarily throw in the blue box all the time, but you can still have engaging stories. Another idea is a return to a kind of Sarah Jane Adventures type show, but maybe something that takes in more of the classic companions. Obviously, we've seen Tegan and Ace return to Doctor Who, but how many others are out there? We saw in The Power of the Doctor, uh, 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 spoiler, we saw Joe Grant, we saw Ian Chesterson, and we saw Mel Bush as well. Personally, I want to see a spin-off series that I have lovingly entitled Carvanista's Crufts, where basically he just, just trains and is a very good boy. A very good boy. Whatever is coming in the future, it is safe to say Doctor Who's never going to be the same again. It's gone from strength to strength, and I will be the first to admit that, yes, there were times I felt a little bit of, a little bit of fatigue and everything, but now I feel like it's been so invigorated with fresh new life that I cannot wait to see what this holds in the future. What do you think? 
let us know. Let us know whether you think that Disney teaming up with a silly little blue box show is the best thing. Drop it into the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Remember, you can catch us over on Twitter at Who Culture. You can catch us on Instagram as well at Who Culture. You can catch myself at Sean Ferrick on the various socials. Don't forget to catch Danny at Dan the Meegs on Twitter as well, and of course Ellie at E Little Child on all the various socials, folks. Thank you so much for watching along. Please don't forget to share this video. Much appreciated. You look after yourself until I see you again. And above all else, keep things wibbly wobbly. Thanks.